Today we have not one, not two, but three of the new PRS SEs. We have a DGT, we have a Swamp S Special, and we have a Pulse Guitar. And I've done separate videos on each of these before, but this is the first time I've had all three in the room together. And I figured it'd be worthwhile to maybe do some back-to-back -back comparisons. And so before we get into kind of the sound samples, let's talk about some of the key kind of spec differences between the two. So if we think about both the DGT and the Paul's guitar are kind of your standard mahogany body, maple top, mahogany neck. There's a slight difference in the neck structure between the two, but they're pretty much the same. Obviously, the Swamp Ash Special is the outlier here. So you've got a Swamp Ash body, you've got a maple neck with a maple fretboard, you've got a bolt-on neck. So it's going to be quite different in its construction. As you can see, both the DGT and the Swamp Ash Special have this floating tremolo. I think they're the same bridge. The Paul's guitar is the outlier here. It's got the fixed bridge. Now, in this Paul's guitar, I did swap out the bridge for this one with the adjustable saddles, but it's a PRS bridge, so it's basically still the same, just a little more adjustable. In terms of controls, I think the Paul's guitar is the one that's pretty different. Uh, the DGT has two volumes and one tone with a push pull selector for splitting the pickups. The Paul's guitar, let's put that down has these individual switches. So you can split each pickup individually and you do it by the switch, it's not a push-pull. Um, that's one of the things I like most about the Pulse guitar. I like this switching capability versus the push-pull on the DGT. And the Swamp Best Special has the same push-pull. In terms of pickups, all the pickups are different. Uh, this has the 8515S's plus the single coil. So these are the standard PRS pickups that are on a lot of the SEs, like the, the new CE or just the regular Custom 24 and whatnot. The DGT and the Paul's guitar both have specially made pickups for these models. So the DGT has um, obviously the David Grissom pickups in it, and then the Paul's guitar has, I think they call it a TCI pickup, um, which is built to the specs that Paul likes. In terms of the nut and the tuners, they all have the standard SE nuts. The tuners on both the DGT and the Swap by Special have these chrome tuners. You can see them here, where the Paul's guitar is more of kind of a vintage style. I really prefer the DGT and Swap by Special tuners to the Paul's guitar. This is one of my least favorite things about the Paul's guitar is these tuners. When you're adjusting them, there's a little too much travel in the peg. So they're a little loose. So I prefer these chrome ones that are on the DGT and the Swap by Special. In terms of neck profile, the Paul's guitar and the Swap by Special are pretty much the same neck. Even though they're different materials, the shape is about the same. They're kind of a medium rounded neck. The DGT has a little more girth to it. It's not a lot bigger than the Paul's guitar, but it just has a little more shoulders and maybe the shape is different and it doesn't surprise me this shape is very specific to the dgt so it just has a little bit more of a beefier feel in the hand so what we're going to do in terms of trying out the tones is we're going to focus on, on four key tones a clean tone and we're going to focus on the neck pickup for that an edge of breakup we'll also focus on the neck pickups for that and we'll try both the neck and humbucker and single coil for those and then we're going to do a crunch tone and we'll focus on the bridge pickups for that, again, in humbucking and super coil mode. And then we'll do a lead tone. And for that, we'll focus only in humbucking mode, but we'll try both the bridge and the neck pickups. So for today's sounds, I'm using my quad cortex and I'm using my Kraken preset. I've altered it slightly so that it has less effects on it. There's still a little bit of delay in reverb, but not a lot. I, we want to be able to hear the guitars and not all the effects. But there's still a little bit just to add some ambience. So here's a clean tone and we got the DGT in humbucking mode on the neck. Put it in the single coil mode.
And here's the pulse guitar in home hooking mode. And a single coil. And here's a swamp by special. And in split position, this is actually in between sound with one coil of the neck and the middle. So I think generally, I was surprised by a couple of things. One, the Paul's guitar in humbucking mode, those pickups are a lot hotter than the ones in the DGT or even the ones on the Swap Bass Special. I was surprised at how hot they were. Two, I felt like the Swap Bass Special in humbucking mode had a little more bite to the top end, which I liked for the clean tone. But in single coil mode, I preferred the Paul's guitar. You know, the Swap Bass Special is somewhat lacking here because you can't get a pure single coil from the neck. You have to get that in-between sound. Um, and the DGT sounds good, but I think I prefer the single coil from the Pulse guitar. So let's switch to an edge breakup. single coil mode. So once again, I think the Swamp Pass Special is somewhat hindered by the fact that its split mode is an in-between sound. Um, the, once you start adding gain to this, I think the warmth of the DGT and the Pulse guitar starts to add a little bit more to the sound than these 8515s can bring. <laughs> Thank you. 
here. So the DGT, I think the main differences here is you've got the bigger neck. It makes the guitar feel chunkier. And um, if you like that, I think there's more to grip here. For me, I like, I think, the slimmer necks, uh, the Swamp Bass Special and the Pulse Guitar. Um, in Hamaki mode, these pickups sound great. Like I said, they have less output than the Pulse Guitar. Um, I do wish the split was not a push-pull, and I'm not a huge fan of the double volumes. I guess as somebody who just grew up playing kind of Strat-style guitars, um, I prefer to have a single volume and two tones, actually. Um, but overall, you know, a great guitar. Um, this is, I think, about the same weight as the Swamp Bass Special. It's not super light. It's not super heavy. Um, I think the main thing is if you want this kind of neck feel, um, this is kind of the, the guitar for you. It's, it's not quite as chunky as the 594, but it still has a good amount of heft to it. If we go to the Swamp Bass Special, you know, obviously the, the maple neck gives it a much different feel than the other two guitars. If you like a maple neck, then there's not many choices from Paul Reed Smith, and this is a good one. Um, it has a nice, comfortable neck, not too thick, not too thin. Nice satin finish on the back. Um, this one did come with a good amount of fret sprout on it, so um, it needs a little bit of attention. Uh, the pickups, I like the 8515s. They have a nice kind of biting clarity to them, and I think it works pretty well with this guitar. As I've said before, I would like it if you go to split mode that you could get a pure neck split sound rather than all the in-between sounds that this gives you. But overall, I think it's a really good guitar. Um, it's about the same weight as the DGT. So the new neck join, the heel is, is very comfortable. And I think this is actually easier to get to the upper frets on than the set necks of the DGT or the Pulse guitar. Uh, overall, a really nice guitar. It's a beautiful finish. Swamp Ash definitely has a different kind of look than you get from Maple, so it looks very unique to me. And then we have my Paul's guitar. Um, I love the control layout. I love the two mini toggles for splitting the pickups. The neck is not as chunky as the DGT. Uh, I like it smaller. I feel like I can play faster on this, um, but that's just a personal preference. Some people like a chunkier neck. I do wish they had the tuners that were on the DGT or the Swamp Eye Special. And eventually I will probably swap those out. Like I already swapped out the bridge. This is also the lightest of these three guitars. So the other two are probably Kind of seven and a half to eight pounds. This one is probably a half or even a little bit more or less. So it's a lighter guitar than those two. Um, but it has that same uh, neck join as the DGT with the set neck. So it's a little more in your way when you're trying to get to the upper frets, but it's not bad. It's just not quite as comfortable as the Swamp Ass Special with its bolt on. I was surprised how much hotter these pickups were than the DGT. So when you're in humbucky mode on this, there's definitely a lot more output here on tap. The single coil sounds, I think, sound really good. They're not a pure single coil sound. It's more of a kind of getting the P90 kind of range, but I think it sounds really good and gives the guitar a lot of versatility. And as I said before, the, the control setup with the mini toggles is my favorite of the three. I don't like having the push pull because I think it's too hard to switch on the fly. And also the ability to switch the pickups individually between humbucking and single coil mode, I think, is a big benefit. So after listening back to the clips of the playing and thinking more about these guitars, I wanted to do a quick run through of just generally how I feel about the guitar. Obviously, this is very subjective, um, so your opinions may vary. And all three of these guitars are really good guitars. I don't think most people would be unhappy with any of them. But as I think about these three guitars, I think it, in terms of looks, I'm going with the DGT. There's just a kind of a classic look to it with the pickup covers and the nice finish and the dark tint on the back. It just has a really classic look to it, and I really like it. The other ones look good, but they're a little bit more I don't know, flashy, I guess, in terms of the blue colors and things like that, and I really like the DGT's simplicity. In terms of hardware, I prefer the hardware on the DGT and the Swamp Eye Special. They feel like they're the exact same hardware in terms of the bridge and the tuners and whatnot. You know, the bridge on the Pulse guitar I had some issues with and I had to replace it. And the tuners on the Pulse guitar aren't my favorite either. So I think the hardware on the DGT and the Swap by Special are best. In terms of neck feel, I prefer the slimmer necks on the Pulse guitar and the Swap by Special. Obviously, they're different materials 
and a little bit of a different texture in terms of the satin finish on the Swamp Pie Special and the maple neck. But the general shape of the necks are very similar. And so to me, they both feel really good. The DTT is just a little too beefy for me. Again, this is personal preference. You might like a beefier neck, but it's just a little too much. In terms of controls, I really like the Pulse guitar best. Uh, I've talked about this a bunch, so I'm not going to go too far into it. But just having the mini toggle switches is, to me, a much simpler and a much more easily accessible way to access the pickup selection. In terms of tone of the pickups, for the humbucker sounds, I think the DGT kind of wins. Um, they're a little lower output than the Paul's guitar, but they're also warmer, uh, which is interesting because typically low output pickups aren't warm, but these pickups sound really good and I like them quite a bit. For the split sounds, I'm kind of on the fence between the DGT and the Paul's guitar. Uh, I actually think they sound pretty similar and I like them both. I was having a hard time picking. The Swamp Pass Special, it's hard to really talk about how the pickups sound when they're split because you don't really get a pure split humbucker sound out of it. It's always these in-betweens mixing in that middle pickup. And so it makes me interested to try the new CE24 SE that has these same pickups in it and hear how those sounds split. I think that might be a really good sounding guitar. I might look into get my hands on one of those. So that's my general thoughts on these three guitars. Again, I think all three are great guitars. It really just comes down to your personal preference and what you're looking for. And I enjoy playing all three of these guitars. And I hope you found it interesting and helpful if you're trying to decide between these models. As always, thanks for watching.